Hey there everybody, welcome back to FinBear channel. Today I'm going to go over Corbis Pharmaceutical Holdings. Uh, today is June 7th. Just to do a quick te um, technical analysis as to what's going on uh, the past few weeks right up to this uh, today's date. Uh, not only... I totally shook my confidence. God dang it. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to FinBear channel. Today we're going to go over Corbis Pharmaceuticals holding. Today is June 7th and we're going to do a quick technical analysis as to what's going on with the company and seeing uh, how we're feeling for uh, sentiment wise the rest of the week. I personally do have holdings in Corbis Pharmaceuticals. Um, I believe I have about 200 shares. It's not a lot, but it's a lot to me. Uh, it's part of actually why I built this channel. I know that there's a lot of people out there who are not, I wouldn't say intimidated, but curious about investing, but they don't think they have enough money or the know-how to actually do it. And we all have to start somewhere. And um, this is my journey. And I hope that you can take what I'm doing and uh, use it your own way. You know, I might be wrong about a few things. Help me learn as well from you. Uh, that's what this is all about. Um, I want everybody to eat. Uh, it's super important that we do good things. We put good energy out in the world. And this is my way of giving back to everyone out there. Uh, so that's my story. A uh, whole part of it. I'll probably progress, you know, with other videos. But uh, with that being said, let's get in. So Corpus Pharmaceuticals, a little background because it's my first video on it. Uh, I actually purchased them, I would say around uh, February, March or February, when they had their, their bump to $3. And uh, I was excited. And I thought my entry point was going to be about 240. So I waited and I entered at 240. Uh, I thought that was going to be the bottom. It wasn't. Uh, it continued to go down to about $1.60. So I was back holding a bit. Not a lot. It's okay. It's part of the ebb of flow. Um, you don't actually lose money until you close your position. Uh, and I am bullish on the fundamentals of this company. I'm excited about it. And it's looking like the technical analysis is starting to follow suit with what I was already seeing. Uh, my friends actually joke and say, you know, I'm always a few weeks, I'm always a few weeks early, but I'm not often wrong. Uh, so I've actually made that my little mantra, like, okay, it's all right to be early. It's kind of like, you know, Michael Burry. Um, although granted that man is a savant and I hope to only one day at least hit a percentage of what that man is capable of. Apologize. Uh, son's leaving and uh, the dogs are headed out. But so anyhow, I digress. Corvus Pharmaceuticals, what drew my attention to them is I was using a screener looking for gaps because I do like trading on gaps. And Corvus had a huge gap uh, from, I believe it was September of 2020. Um, and it dropped down hard from about $9 to about three. Um, so when it was at three uh, a few months ago, that's when I bought in thinking, or about 240, that's when I was thinking like, hey, we're about to close this gap. Okay, I'm excited. You've got my attention. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to pull it up. And so, oh, that's a day. I apologize. There we go. And for those who don't know, I'm using TradingView. It's, a, it's an awesome program. I do pay for the pro version. If you buy it on Black Friday, you get a substantial discount. Uh, there's my little inside tip there. And I just renew only on that day. And I continue to get the really great discount. All right, so we're on the daily chart. Bear with me as I uh, see what I'm doing. I have my old lady glasses. Okay, so here it is. So you can't see it on the daily, but if you look on the hourly, you would actually see this huge long drop that happened in September. It plummeted from 9 to 31 all the way down to 211 actually, and it continued going down. Uh, right here is about where I know it was right here. I think that I got in. Yeah, it's right here where I got in. Like when the, on the way down, because I thought I was just going to do a bullish pendant and go back up. I was wrong, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. We're not always going to be right. Um, and that's what the part of this channel is. It's showing, hey, we're not always going to be right, but at least we understand why we were wrong and we can learn from that. <clears throat> so what we have here 
It's this massive drop, and it's actually a gap. And uh, the mark has a real good memory, and technically they like to close their gaps. Uh, so that's part of why I am bullish on Corvus Pharmaceuticals, at least from a technical standpoint. Fundamentally, I am bullish on them as well because they are in the third phase of their drug trial uh, for Labanasam, and I probably said that name wrong. Um, but what's really interesting, and right now what we're saying, we've gone up almost a dollar. We've hit from a new higher low, right? Um, and we're up almost a dollar from uh, May, which is a really good run. That's a solid run um, because we might have a little cup and um, uh, not a cup of hand. I apologize. A W forming on that bigger scale. I would love to see. I wish this was a little bit deeper uh, going up, but it's OK. I'll take what I can get. I would love to see this price action pass about four dollars. Then I know we're headed towards gap territory. That's what I really want. That, that's why I'm holding is to close that gap. But anywho, that noise, um, that news is coming out. They have an announcement on this Wednesday coming. I'm hoping it's good news because they already had their final um, patient check in and do this stuff. So it's all just um, the test and lab results now. And we're really hoping for some good news because if we do have good news, this thing's going to rock it. And that has me very, very excited. Uh, I want to get back here and look at the hour chart just so we can see this week um, what's going on technical wise beyond that fundamental that we talked about. Give me one moment. And Corbis Pharmaceuticals is also, I believe, a weed uh, stock as well. Um, don't quote me on that. I don't have it in front of me, but I, I believe it is. Now, what we can see here on the hourly chart is we had a good run going up that dollar about 98 cents that I was talking about earlier, which is a strong run up. And then we have our little, you know, um, our reset zone, basically, you know, that, that bullish pendant down and it pulled down pretty hard. It could have been short action. I can't guarantee. I have got to look at that numbers, but what I see here, which is really cool is a George W. Um, is it clean? Not exactly, but it is what it is. And what I like right here is price right now, has um, kind of do that little cup and handle. So you got George W, but you got your cup and handle here. And typically this little bit on George W will always come down to where this last high is. And then it's going to just shoot up. And that's what I'm hoping for. I am hoping that once it hits this part right here, it might consolidate for another hour or two. And then I'm optimistic that we are going to reach over 215. Uh, momentum is telling me this. If you see here, um, the RSI is currently at 54, which means it's had a little bit of time to cool off from up here. We're all right. The RSI and the MACD, I mean the stock, is matching each other. Um, I see some really good opportunity here to eat. This W looks nice to me. And what's also cool, this is a little low, but this zone here, I'm a little bit off of right here. You've got this zone of support, but you also have it where it was a resistance line back here. And so what was once a resistance is now support. Uh, that makes me excited. It makes me very excited. I uh, see here, it was a zone of resistance, zone of resistance. So I hit it one, two, let me see, on the way down, one, two, three, four, five, six touches. And it finally crossed that resistance line and is now proven to be a support. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more stronger support there and consolidation. But again, I'm excited by it. I am bullish for it. Um, I wouldn't say to the moon, but hey, to $9, which honestly for me would be my average. My cost average is at, I think it's because I still bought on the way down the dips. I'm at about $217. So $217 uh, to $9. That's a nice return. Um, honestly, I'd be even happy with 4 or $5. Uh, so that's my rundown on Corvus Pharmaceuticals. Uh, let me know your thoughts and what you think of it. And uh, please hit a like um, if you liked this um, video. If you didn't, hit dislike so I know what to work on. Uh, what is it you guys want to see? Do you want to know about my indicators? Uh, do you want to know a little bit more about why I choose those indicators? What settings I have? Whatever it is, let me know. Um, I'm here to help you. Uh, thank you again for joining, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great one, everybody.